While most third graders' lives are consumed with school, recess, and chores, however, a Mitchell third grader is doing something that most adults never even imagine accomplishing. In tonight's Eye on Kello Land, Summer Rottershot takes us to the Radke land and cattle where a young girl is following in her mother's footsteps. Like many ranch kids, nine-year-old Scarlett Radke does her chores, is in 4-H, and helps take care of bottle calves. However, unlike most ranch kids, Scarlett is a published author. I decided to write the book because um, Lucky came around and um, we started making some videos about him and he went viral on social media. I don't even know what viral means. Scarlett's mom Amanda is also a published author with eight children's books and a ninth on the way. But then when Scarlett was about five, she said, Mom, I want to write books like you. And I said, well, you know, maybe you need to learn how to read and write first would be step one. Uh, so she mastered that skill and, and she's advanced, you know, from stick figures to being able to really draw pictures and she really enjoys art. When Lucky the Bottle Calf went viral on social media, racking in millions of views on different platforms, the Radkeys knew this was Scarlett's time to finally write and illustrate a book. I mean, people were just so excited to see kids out working, doing chores, and taking care of this really cute little calf. And I said, Scarlett, this might be your story. I think people are really interested and hungry to learn more about what life is like for a kid living on a ranch. I decided to write a book about him because, one, I wanted to save him from being a steer, and second, because he went viral on social media and, um, and I thought people might like to learn about him. While Lucky still ended up as a steer, the book tells the story of Lucky's survival. In February of 2023, Lucky was born prematurely in a snowbank, weighing 40 to 50 pounds less than what he should have weighed. So I named him Lucky because he was lucky to be alive. Because usually when they're 30 pounds, they don't even last. They usually die immediately. The book goes on to show the sweet relationship of Scarlett and Lucky, showcasing real-life events that did well on social media. I'm scooping Lucky's poop. Of course, that needs to be done. Every, every um, book should have a manure joke, right? So the one where Lucky pulls the top of the bottle off and the milk goes flying and she's crying and the boy, her brothers are laughing hysterically like it was too good not to share. Poor Scarlett. With the publishing of her book, Scarlett has been able to read her story at different schools in the area. So she did her own elementary school and then she went across town to Longfellow and uh, we had a school-wide assembly there. She has an invitation to Mount Vernon and another one in Minnesota. Uh, so they just, the calls keep coming, I guess, and I'm just the proud mom and chauffeur. I just take her wherever. Even with the accomplishment of being a published author in the third grade, Scarlett still pitches in around the farm and keeps up with her daily chores. Not much different from being a normal nine-year-old. A nine-year-old with a deep love for her bottle calf. In Mitchell, Summer Rottershot, Kelloland News. Scarlett will be doing a book reading and interview at the Sutton Rodeo in Rapid City on February 2nd. And if you're interested in purchasing Scarlett and Lucky, we posted a link under this story on Kelloland.com.